Good morning. Lovely, gorgeous day here today. Nice and early. Milk up the pots. Perfect. Hope live stream you well. Uh, today I'm up here talking about uh, self watering systems for tomatoes, cucumbers, what it do like. I've got it right eventually. <laughs> Taking a lot of trial and error without spending too much money. And yeah, I'm pleased the way it's working there. And it frees me up from watering every day. Let's have a look. So I've got a large blue barrel raised up that I can feed by gravity through the piping down into my pots in the greenhouse. It's remote, it's up the allotment, so no electricity, no mains, water ups that I can reliably connect to, of course. Um, tomatoes are looking pretty good. They're a good size. Over here, they're good size. This is a variety gig in Tomo. I find them really good for making the sauces. Uh, sweet aperitif over here. I'm not convinced by these. The taste is great, but they're very, very small. Uh, it might be the lack of water. I've been struggling with water all season. Um, these over the oh, other side of bloody butchers, they're worth, they, they are actually quite tasty. Quite pleased with these. Very spendy looking plants. They don't, haven't convinced me looking looks wise but never mind uh, let's go back to the self water so i've been struggling to get the the water fed here by gravity so what i'm going to do is excuse the weeds but uh, this hasn't been a very good couple of months for bu being busy so little areas like this so we can let go i'm going to drill a hole with a, with a hose lock connector down the bottom here that i can connect in at the bottom of the barrel and not have this rise before the water goes out. I'm sure that's probably what it is. Um, anyway, that's today's job. Let's see. So what I've done is I've mounted a tap onto the water butt that is also a hose lock connection. And now that is a good connection to the bottom barrel where we can now bleed through the system and all, all this whole connection is is quite cheap off Amazon and it just goes into into the hose here sorry, that way just like a normal gland right. it's done it's connected and it appears to be working okay Drip lines are dripping, a little bit too fast in some cases. Try and adjust them as I go along. That one's not good enough. No, I'll do that when I've not got the camera in my hand. But yeah, didn't cost too much. All working well. Tomatoes will be happier with. constant supply of water job done another device you can add is a water timer battery powered what this gives you the ability to do is water at a specific time of the day like for instance the evening connects in just like a normal uh, system that you've just seen but between the butt and the uh, hosing uh, and it gives you the ability to deliver a more water at a specific time of day so you can avoid problems with the light blight and that sort of thing as you see my greenhouse is coming along really well this mulch this deep bed mulch has worked fantastically well at holding the water uh adding nutrients i've had to i didn't ha I haven't had to panic about the watering so much um the tartars are doing absolutely fantastic absolutely loving it 
um, either the spindly plants at the end of malign <laughs> uh, the, the bloody butchers doing very well they taste really good actually if left to ripen fully the sun golds obviously are always good the, that one there is a peril um, it's a plum type tomato and it's good taste um, and this sweet aperitif in the corner here was one of the ones I'd, I snapped off and I've grown from the side shoot uh, ignore the one at the back how that shouldn't be there uh, and that's worked very well as well there we are nice harvest from one greenhouse that'll make some lovely sauces thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time